Hello everybody, welcome back! It's you, it's me, I'm Grant, and you're my team. So previously in Fire Emblem Three Houses, yeah, we did a lot, and my energy dropped towards the end. Uh, I was actually very hungry. <laughs> So make sure you go and get something to eat and drink and stay hydrated and go and nourish yourself. I'm actually, I'm actually sat with biscuits now. Um, I will be nomming and munching, but obviously you won't hear that. Because, <laughs> you know, meticulous editing. <laughs> um, the people from last episode who were in the background noise making the tree fall seem to have vacated the street for the day. Thank you for doing me a favor, you sluts. <laughs> and we have to go and defend Garrick Mark. But first, we said we were going to do some certifications. Okay, right, so. Is quite close now to that. Ta, ha, ta, ha, ta. Sweet. And then we can get him Sniper, get him Hunter's Volley. We could try. We could try for that right now. I don't see the point in it though. Mariano, I need to reclass you into Warlock. No, I don't. You have the opportunity to promote into it. I could reclass you into Valkyrie right now so that we can develop your shit and then put you into Warlock. I want to see what you like as a Grimry. Ah, she looks so cute as a I like you too. She looks so cute. Mm, I like her. Right, okay. Hilda, your finest work. Sylvain. Fortress Knight, 45%. <gasps> we should absolutely take the chance. Right, okay. Two advanced seals. Coming up. Items, buy, convoy. Blacksmith Repair, Ferdinand's Killabo. Sylvain, your shit's pretty good, actually. Uh, Seteth, Iron Bow. Right, okay, we're fine there. So, certificaciones. What? Sylvain with that. Fortress uh, uh. Knight. He probably won't. He did the way! Oh my god! We can work towards Tavis, bitch! He did so good. Yes, we will. We will change. We will change that class. How far did you get with Archer? Oh, eh, this is whatever. We're still gonna work with this. We're gonna work with Fortress Knight, Sylvain. And then what we'll do. Because he's a guard adjutant now. <gasps> Yay! Okay, uh. Marianne. And then we'll jump straight into it today. Good luck, sister girl. She won't. I bet you she don't. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm so proud of you! I'm so proud of you, Marianne. I passed? Yes, you did! Well done! I think the biggest bullshit, though, that we got was the 30% Ferdinand promoting into... What did he promote into? Hold on. No, because I do... I, I, I really want to check this out now. Ferdinand... Was it when he promoted into Paladin? I think it might have been, you know. Which, by the way... We could absolutely make him back into Paladin. A bright future depends on my strength. There you go. Good boy. We love to see it. Okay, right. So, supports while I eat the biscuits and then we'll jump straight in. Okay? That is our sound. Let's go. Huh. Oh, Ignatz. What are you sighing over? Sorry, I shouldn't sigh in such a holy place. There's nothing wrong with it. I sigh here all the time. The goddess receives all our prayers and our sighs. What's bothering you? I'd be happy to talk about it if you'd like. Oh, it's nothing. 
not worth talking about. Is that so? Am I not worth talking to? That's not what I meant. <sighs> Sorry to offend you. I'll tell you about it. I'm just uncertain about my future. My father wants me to be a knight. I don't think I can handle it. Can you imagine a knight as pathetic as me? I don't find you pathetic at all. Is there something you would rather pursue? Well, I've always loved painting. You want to become an artist? How wonderful! What's your ambition? Me? I simply want to help people with their troubles. Those who can't help themselves. I've considered working for the church, but that's only a vague idea. Oh, I'm sorry. We were supposed to be discussing your troubles. Not at all. I'm actually feeling a little better. Knowing that you aren't sure about your future, I don't feel quite so... alone. Everyone in this world feels a little lost, you know? I really do believe that the life of an artist is a wonderful dream to pursue. There was a beautiful painting of the goddess in the church where I used to live. Whenever times were difficult, I would stare up at her and sigh. Thinking about that painting helps me even now. I've always wanted to paint the goddess. You should. I'm sure your painting will help someone else in their time of need. I can't paint anything powerful enough to do that. I wish I could. Maybe one day. I'll give that some thought. Thank you, Mercedes. Oh, hey, it's you. Going for a walk again today? No, I'm on cooking duty today. And I have to head into town for some groceries. All on your own? Hmm, I'd better go with you. I'd be worried if you went by yourself. No, please. I can manage on my own. But won't you have a hard time carrying everything back? Not at all. I'll be fine. I'm just replacing a few ingredients. Also, I may not look it, but I'm actually quite strong. I've been exercising every day. If you start fumbling around under the weight of all the groceries, and then you trip and spill everything everywhere... Look, I'm just saying that could be your future. It could happen. It doesn't look pretty. That's what you think of me, huh? Yep. You're honestly a bit of a mess. I see. If that's how you feel. I'll knock it off with the wounded puppy dog eyes. As though I'm some sort of villain in your story. I'm sorry. That wasn't my intention. I'm just a bit sensitive, that's all. You're talking like you don't respect me. I see. So now it's my fault? No matter how grown you seem to think you are, there's so much you're incapable of. You can play at being a mature adult, but it only ever complicates things, and that's exactly what makes you look like a child. Uh, oh, enough already! Would you just leave me alone? Maybe I... went a bit far that time. But he's so stubborn despite his ineptitude, I can't just leave it be. He's so foolish, constantly making a mess of things. Wait, but then... No matter how much we stretch, some things are always beyond us. I think it's fine to be vulnerable and ask for help sometimes. What he said to me before... To everyone else, do I seem just like Ignatz? Mercedes! You look divine as always. Are you off to pray? Oh, hello, Sylvain. I was just on my way to pray. How did you guess? Well, because I've been watching your lovely... Oh, I get it. You're the type who's always looking at girls, aren't you? I won't lie. I do enjoy beholding women. But I don't mean it like that with you. I know I sound like a dope. I just... I think you're special. Everybody's special in your eyes, Sylvain, so when everybody's special, nobody is. Can you cut the bullshit sweets? Thanks. Oh, really? You think I'm so clumsy that I need someone to watch over me. Is that why you can't take your eyes off me? You're beautiful, and I mean that. You're... <sighs> How can I put it without sounding even worse? You can't. You've already dug the grave. Now go lie in it, and I'll bury you alive. Okay, here goes. I want to get to know you better. 
As friends, I mean. I don't know where to begin. Well, what's something you like? I like to pray. I've been praying regularly since I was a child. You grew up in the Empire, didn't you? That's right. I was raised in House Bartels. Bartels? I thought you were born to House Martreets. It's a complicated story. I'm not sure that it's a very interesting one, but I'm happy to share it with you. I don't mean to be nosy, if it's too personal. Oh no, I don't mind. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. House Martreets fell shortly before I was born. Oh. My father passed away while my mother was still pregnant with me, so she had nowhere to go. After I was born, my mother ended up marrying the head of House Bartels. Shortly after, my mother bore a true Bartels child who bore a crest. She and I were treated as though we were no longer useful to the family after that. You think the Bartels were just using her to secure a crest? They must have been. My mother and I were removed from the family and forced to flee to a church in the kingdom. I abandoned the Bartels name and took up our old family name again. So you grew up in a church? Okay, it makes more sense now why you're praying all the time. Yes, I- oh, praying! I forgot that I was on my way to pray. Right, and I interrupted you. Well, see you around, Mercedes. Yes, see you! House Bartels wanted a crest, and ruined other people's lives to get one. These idiots are all the same. Development! Oh god, it's times like these where I really... Right, okay, honestly, right, let me be, let me be real with you, okay? Sylvain is a brilliant character, and then he has to ruin it all by doing something stupid like sexism. But, just, like... Mm, he's, he's a good unit, he's a brilliant unit, he's one of the better ones in the game. And... When he's not flirting, he's genuinely a smart guy with compassion and empathy. And then you're reminded that he's a sexist. He grossly generalizes a specific gender that makes him a sexist. Okay. Oh, best chain. Here we go. Is something troubling you, Ingrid? Oh, Sedith. You seem to have caught me when I thought nobody was around. Perhaps I can help, if you would like to share. I wouldn't want to bother you with my trivialities. I will not pry, of course. But if you keep it to yourself, no one will be able to help you. That's true. It's regarding my father. Count Galatea. I have met him once or twice. Yes, that's him. He and I have parted ways now. House Galatea was financially unstable for a long time. We were hardly able to support our soldiers and their steeds. My father had hopes that with my crest, I'd be married into a noble family, and that House Galatea's financial troubles would be a thing of the past. Ah, I see. And the other house would benefit from the addition of your crest-bearing blood. That was certainly the idea. But I broke ties with them. I do wonder how they are doing back home. It seems to me you have suffered much for the misfortune of being born with a crest. I beg your pardon? I know crests are highly valued, but they are also a burden. My feelings are mixed. You truly think so? But you're so devoted to the goddess. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. Perhaps one day I will expound upon my opinion of crests in greater detail with you. For now, let it suffice to say that whether or not you bear one is secondary to your identity. You are a person, first and foremost. And you should be permitted to grow as a person, crest or not. I agree. Thank you for listening. If you ever wish to discuss this again, consider me available whenever you please. Thank you so much. Hey, Annette. Hitting the magic books again? Has anyone ever told you that you're pretty cute when you're studying? Sorry, Sylvain, but I'm trying to think right now. Could you keep quiet for a bit? 
How can you stay focused reading a book that thick? With such small print? Is some of that text upside down? If I use the formula in this line here, the magical energy should... No, that's not right. You're even cuter when you're working through a difficult problem. Sylvain, I'm serious. Please be quiet. Uh, hang on. Look at the third line. You've got the formula wrong. I said be... Oh, you're right. How did you know that? Well, I mean, it's written right there. Most people wouldn't be able to grasp this formula just by glancing at it. Have you read this book before? Nope, this is the first time. Okay, now that I look at it... Wow, this book makes things way more complicated than they need to be. Hmm. And what's your take on this part here? It's just describing another application for the same formula. <laughs> this is pretty easy. You know, you're actually kind of amazing. I've been studying magic for a while now, but even I have trouble with this stuff. You act like all you do is mess around, but are you actually working really hard in secret? Nah, hanging out with girls is way more fun. I guess I just pick this stuff up somewhere. Life is short, Annette. If you waste it working hard, it'll be over before you know it. Get out in the world. Have some fun. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. You're strong and smart without even trying. It's not fair. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. No, I was just thinking you're pretty cute when you're sulking, you know that? What is wrong with you? Hey, uh, I just got lucky with that stuff in the book. I'd normally never be able to outsmart you. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and leave you to it. Got lucky, huh? I'm not so sure about that. Well, that does it. It might be tough, but I won't accept second place. Let's go, me. I can do this. I'm gonna finish this whole book before sundown. <laughs> Okay, and with that all fine and done, let's protect Garrig Mark. Fulfilling a promise made five years ago, your former students gather once more at the monastery, as do the knights. However, your joyful reunion is cut short. We've had a full month to be happy. Bitch. Bitch. Though plans to resist the Empire are still being devised by the Alliance Army, the Imperial Army has already anticipated their next move. An Imperial vanguard just outside Garrig Mach, led by General Randolph, begins to advance with the aim of toppling the monastery once again. First things first. What? Come back. Okay, right. Randolph, five years later, looking absolutely no different whatsoever. Right, okay, two Pegasus Knights over there. Sniper on the Onager over there. Pegasus Knight over here. Violet, Ferdinand, Marianne. I don't like this setup. Ferdinand needs to be over. There we go. Right. But then Ignatz doesn't reap the full benefits of the knowledge gem. Okay, what if we do this, that, this, this? Units, Sylvain. Off, thanks. Okay, so take you two off. Let's think about this properly for a sec. Sorry, I'm just 
faffing about with my microphone a bit there. There we go. Okay, right. Let's see. So. Uh, units again. Mm -hmm. I back out of it and go back into it just so everybody's all nice and neatly organized. Right, okay. Um, if I put Sylvain with a Byleth. There we go. Right. That would imply that Marianne's going to see a lot of combat. I don't want Marianne seeing a lot of combat, that's the thing. Verdi, on the other hand, could help develop Balthus's magic in leaps and bounds. Set of knowledge gem. Ignatz, again, knowledge gem. See, this is why I need a third knowledge gem. And then I get to Balthus. Constance, mage, right, okay, hold on. Inventory, items, Constance and Balthus. Trade, there you go. That's that, okay, cool. Coco. How have you not mastered it yet? You've literally got so many... Th oh my god. It's because we've not been using it, that's why. Right, hold on. Reclass. Constance. You'll get Fiendish Blow, and then you'll get Tone Breaker, and then you'll get Transmute, and whatever, and all the crap. Okay, right. We'll be fine. Let's begin. The Knights of Seros are a powerful enemy. We have more soldiers. We'll take them down all at once. So, the enemy intends to use their overwhelming numbers to defeat us. Let's fight fire with... actual fire. Report. The enemy has entered the periphery of Garrig Mok. If they reach the interior, the enemy will take the monastery. Drive them back immediately. Are we missing one? Yeah. Oh well. Eh, it doesn't matter. Guide me well. Right. What's my strategy? Another victory. It's more fun to overcome insurmountable odds. There we go. And die. You defeat me? Left. <laughs> right. So I'm your girl. Hmm. Let's make this quick. Well, that's a shame, but okay. No time to slow down. Twenty-eight. We can deal with that. That's fine. Right. Okay. Uh. Steady now. At your service. Nice. Yeah. Be at peace. We love to see it, Mussy. There it is. My work's not done. Magic 30. Oh, my lord. Right, so you can give them support points there. Ready for anything. Well, I should hope you are. Shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
No time for pity. Sunshine. At the ready. Good time for a secret scheme. You got yourself kept. Yay. Strange battle flag is. But isn't our enemy the Church of Saros? They didn't have enough soldiers with just the church, so they upped their numbers by joining with those filthy rogues. It doesn't matter what flag they fly, they're nothing more than a mob. We'll destroy them all! Oh, you're so wrong, Randolph. <laughs> 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 A boon for our future. Okay, I really hope that Balthus has magic equipped. So close. Fitting outcome. If I live, I fight. Allied soldiers are making preparations for the plan. Protect them. Okay. It would be a lot easier to do if the Allied soldiers were smart enough to not walk straight into the face of danger. This could turn the tides. Destiny unfurls. Well done. Right. Um. Okay, good. That's fine then. They were sure to perish. Appreciate that. Warlock Marianne. Oh, we love to see it. Thank you. There you go. I fought and won. I will not back down one step. <laughs> this is the cost of war. Take all the strength I can get. It's nice to see that his dex is 29. <laughs> Is 
so close. I think that's our first time seeing brave weaponry used by enemies. The weak fall, the Basically they're kinda like knuckles. They let you strike twice. And then if you outspeed, you can go four times. Sorry, but I must. Done in by a plague of angry locusts. Got no time for mercy. The wee one. She absolutely slaughtered them. Oh god. Oh no. I go now to meet the god. Who's not smart? You lost that one. Magic bow. At your service. Steady now. I'm your girl. Thank you. Sunshine. I'll do my best. Oh no. Ooh. Guide me well. What's my strategy? At the ready. You love to see it. The energy hasn't dropped. I'm just concentrating. That's all. <laughs> okay, right. So that is a lot of pressure to put on him. I don't want to do that. But I will absolutely. Excuse me. I will absolutely. Oh my lord. Do this to Claude. 
Let's make this right. Work. Dismount Nosferatu. Retake that health. I've got no time for mercy. I'm not there yet. Ready for anything. I will see this war through. Right, we can send the magic bow back to the convoy. And we'll have Mercy start making her way around here, because it's a bit tricky because she's a mounted unit. Back to the break. Mm, I could. Set up the kill for Ferdy, but I mean, he's already good enough. Do it. Do it for the support Great. points! Do it for them! Do it because they... Ow, bitch. Yay, Miss Seth. Oh, no. Well done, Iggy! Well done! Oh, no. Well done. Yay. We love to see it, Claude. We love to see it. Okay, cool. Too much effort. Lazy. <laughs> yeah, lazy chuff. Right, okay, so this might get a bit dicey. Pull out all the stops. Ah! Beautiful. Right. And now we just pull Claw back the one space. Have Ignatz come through with this. I'll defeat you. Yay! I took care of it. So reliable. I'm so proud of her. A tragic end. And I can put Constance up to this point now because Imagine being defeated she's awesome me. enough. My allies are much worthier. Coco, you did so good. Have more faith in yourself, sister. Right, okay. You're fine. There you go, okay. Marianne can reach like across an entire battlefield. It's crazy. Beautiful. Ooh, well done, Mr. NPC, getting a crit. Oh. 
Well done, Ferdy. This is fine. Got it. Lament your weakness. Had I room to crawl? Apparently. It seems my proficiency has improved. Right, everybody's back in play on this one, so... Lysithia? I will not die yet. Merciless. Be at peace. Move her in there. Oh no, sir. Goodbye. A lucky break. Are they Falcon Knights? Oh, they are nice. Right, okay. This is great. Annette. Go. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Bim ready. And nobody's fool. You're relentless. Punch the nerd. I wasn't about to let you go. Eh, why not? For my house, for justice, I will not be defeated. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Yay, mother. Flesh. I'm so. Fun fact: Flesh is the French word for arrow, which is exactly what Randolph was just done in by. It's kind of a cruel irony. The weak fall. The that is a good move. ass level up. I'll follow your example. So, play continues. There you go. Oh no. Why can't I stand? Need to keep fighting. Don't expect forgiveness. My work's not done. We're prepared for the fire attack. Now we just need to draw the enemy's attention. You can't defeat us with that many soldiers? The Imperial Army is doomed without a capable general. Now! Oh! <laughs> Marianne in the flames, no! See, there would have been dialogue for Randolph, but we killed him. That's why it feels a little bit disconnected, a little bit awkward. Right, okay, so... We need to make sure... Right, okay, Claude... Idea. At the ready. Much better. 
sunshine. I'll do my best. Let's go. A total loss. But we can't just return home like this. Teach, look out! They're after your head! Maldonicky! I believe I can do more. Dexterity would have been nice. Not gonna lie. For my house. <laughs> it was fated, you be crit. End. We need to get Claude that level up though. This is for We're prepared. You can't quiet! Don't think you'll get away with mocking me. Attack! Make sure they never speak again! Now And Marianne just stands there at fire like this is fine! <gasps> Fire attack! The damage is too great! We can't fight anymore! All units retreat! I'll take on our pursuers! Carry away the injured soldiers! If we let them escape, they'll come back to attack later. We have to take them out. This is fine. Guide me well. What's my strategy? Appreciate it. It's just fate that he gets crit by Claude. It's not set in stone, but it's just fun to see. Mother. Really should have had Ignatz take out the Pegasus, the Falcon Knight. The weak. Fa you make me feel safe. Those Imperial troops are really something. Looks like we'll face a lot of resistance in the future. But for now, I think that is a win. Well done, Clahude. Well done. Yay. Phew, nice work. We won without much incident, thanks to all of you. I don't think the Empire will leave us alone now. What do you plan to do? I intend to ask the Alliance Lords to share some troops with us to bolster our forces. No matter where we send our envoys from here, they'll have to go through Gloucester territory, right? I doubt that family will sit quietly and allow envoys to pass. Why not request reinforcements from the Kingdom? Uh, I guess I haven't told you yet, Teach. The Kingdom isn't in a position to be sending anyone reinforcements. After losing King Lambert during the tragedy of Dusker, a regent had been handling its politics. But then, there was a bloody coup. The regent and Prince Dimitri both. Apparently the whole family was killed. All bladed territory, including the kingdom capital, is being ruled by those who are cooperating with the Empire. The kingdom is no more. It's now called the Fargus Dukedom. The vast majority of the former kingdom lords bent a knee to the overwhelming power of the Empire and the Dukedom and now fall under their jurisdiction. Some who formerly held power are continuing to resist, but it would be difficult for them to regain it. Oh hey, I can think of one person who we can ask for reinforcements. 
Someone whose territory is really close and who's on good terms with Claude. Ah, the hero of Daphne, I presume. You're talking about Judith, right? I bet she would lend us a hand. She seems intimidating. She seems strong. That's right. You've met her once before, Teach. She's a fearsome one-woman army. She did a lot for me, even before I was recognized as the heir to House Regan. I don't like the idea of owing her more than I already do, but given the current situation, sacrifices must be made. I'll reach out to her. As for the rest of you, prepare for our next battle. Hey, Atich. How are you feeling? Does anything feel um, strange at all? Nothing in particular. I feel a bit sluggish. Well, you were asleep for five whole years after all. It'll probably take time to get you back to top form. Though I'm relieved to see you haven't lost a step as far as combat goes. Your command bringing my schemes to life. That's just how we fight best. Anywhere from Judith? Not yet, but there's no need to worry. That woman adores me. Once we've bolstered our forces, it'll finally be time to start taking decisive action. But I wonder, do you really think Rhea is still alive? She's alive. I don't know. There's no telling, but it's also hard to imagine the death of someone as important as her staying a secret. I wonder where she is and what she's doing. Do you hope she's alive? Do you hope she's dead? That's a dangerous question, Teach. To be honest, I've given it a lot of thought. All I know is that I still have a lot of questions I need to ask her. About the true history of Creststones and Hero's Relics, and the truth behind the legend of Seros and Nemesis. She has secrets. Too many of them for my comfort. Considering the state of the world, it's suspicious. You must be curious about what was done to you and what her plans were for you, right? And you never did learn about your mother, did you? This line alone. This line alone. You never did learn about your mother. This is why I made it perfectly clear to say that in Golden Deer, I do not think Cinder Shadows is canon. And also during the Cinder Shadows playthrough, hey, by the way, we have a Cinder Shadows playthrough, be, be sure to go and check that out if you've got a free moment. Uh, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I also said that it's been stated by the developers that it's in a what if type of situation, like um, what if Byleth went down to Abyss and met this ragtag group of students and help them out with their plight. Yeah, anyway, all that other crap. More details are in that playlist. Go watch that playlist. But if you're watching the full Fire Emblem Three Houses playlist, hi. None of our doubts will ever be cleared unless we hear these answers from Rhea herself. In that sense, I absolutely hope Rhea is still alive. But as far as Fodlan goes, I do wonder what a world without Rhea would look like. A world without Rhea? The majority of people in Fodland believe in the Saros faith that Rhea preaches. That's why they accept the noble system as if it were the only option, and refuse to associate with those who believe in anything else. That closed-minded philosophy is the reason why Fodland's throat is locked tight. But if you remove the archbishop who strictly advocates that doctrine, that worldview is no longer an absolute. There's room for free thought. The leadership of the church would undoubtedly fall to you, and you would hold the power to change the shape of the faith, of the world. Then, for the first time, people would truly be free to think for themselves, to decide what's right and what's wrong. Honestly, I believe Edelgard is probably hoping to achieve something very similar. But her methods require too much bloodshed. That's not something the world can get behind. Anyway, the best thing we can do is find Rhea and hear what she has to say. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I guess I've been going on for a while now. Sorry about that. You should get some rest. And that...
is where we're going to leave it for today's episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. So if you've enjoyed today's episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses, then by all means feel free to press like and subscribe and help us out and help us grow. We're getting very close to 100 subscribers, or maybe by the time this is up, we might have hit it. I don't know. This is going up in June. I'm recording this in April, so we don't know. Probably not. <laughs> it's me. Anyways, I will see you very soon. Catch you guys later. Good. Bye.